Yo, this is Mr. Arno Summer speaking, and today I want to talk about Google My Business suspensions, how to avoid them, and other things to consider to make sure that you keep your GMB accounts for a long time and very possibly forever. Please watch this video to the end because I'm going to be discussing, I'm going to be sharing a lot of very valuable content that you're going to benefit from. <laughs> Now the first thing that I want to talk about is Google Updates. And Google Updates has caused a lot of headaches to a lot of people who decided to accept those updates suggested by Google not knowing what an impact those updates are going to have on their GMB listings. Now if you are one of the people who has been affected by Google Updates then you probably know that I'm not telling you anything new because you had to learn this the hard way. Here, once you log into your GMB account and you're inside your dashboard, you can see that anytime there is a new update coming out by Google, you're going to see this box here, which is going to ask you to accept all the updates for this location, meaning for this GMB listing. Now, what I could do is I could click on accept all updates for this location, but then my account will actually go suspended. And that's unfortunate, you know, what you can do is you can actually click on learn more here to really see what this update is all about. But in general, I recommend that you don't accept any updates from Google because it isn't necessary. You don't need them. And most of the time they're going to have a negative impact on your GMB listing and oftentimes leading to a suspension. And that's not what we want because you spend a lot of time, a lot of money. I'm you know, on your GMBs and that's not funny if that happens. So make sure you don't accept any updates. Subscribe to my channel now to be notified when I publish a new video on the latest cutting edge internet marketing strategies. Now, secondly, I also want to tell you that once your GMB is live, you don't want to be changing any sensitive information on your GMB listing, such as business name, business category, business address, and business phone number. You do not want to be changing any of those four elements or risk suspensions. That is very sensitive info and Google does not like to see us changing this info. Now, what can you do if you don't feel like I'm keeping the same company name anymore if you want to change the category? Well, you can't really do anything about that. The only thing you can do unless your GMB is not getting any traffic at all and you know then maybe it would make some sort of sense to maybe change it but if you had paid for the GMB listing and if you had to pay to get it and then you would take the risk to make a change on one of those four very um, sensitive elements then you know you could probably see your GMB listing go suspended. So it's very important that you consider all this information before you change it. So make sure that you're really sure about your business name, you're really sure about the business category and everything else, because as I said, you don't want to be changing that. This is just how volatile Google is and we have to play by the rules. Another thing that's important, which may lead to suspensions further down the road, it may not, but if Google should decide to penalize very optimized GMB listings. And what do I mean when I say very optimized GMB listings? I mean GMB listings that have titles that are very keyword optimized. Like, for instance, here you can see that my company name or my GMB name is Plumbing Anaheim Company. Now, Plumbing Anaheim is a keyword that people type in to obtain plumbing services in Anaheim. And the thing is that while this may help you rank in the short term and it will definitely help rank faster because anytime you use keywords i mean you're telling the search engine google that this is what your business is all about so that will help no question about that but in the long term in the long picture of things if you would use something more brandable something more protectable like a real company name and you would have more gmb listings based on that name for instance, one plumbing LLC Anaheim, one plumbing LLC Anaheim. And then you could have another listing. Let's say you're doing another campaign or you have another company, whatever the case is in another city. 
then you could make it one plumbing LLC New Orleans for instance right so this is just more protectable it's more unique you really have your own company name and Google can't really take that away but if it's just purely focused on keywords then you can risk that your GMB will get ghosted meaning it's not gonna be visible anymore in the search results in the map pack results or that it gets completely penalized and you can get it back out right so in the short term it has a great effect it will help you for sure but in the long term we are not sure because we never know what Google will do eventually so if you are like taking the risk then I would say maybe have 30% or 50% of your GMB listings on a very very particular keyword but on the other hand if you don't like taking the risk then maybe just do 100% of your GMB listings on company names where you just know that it's not going to happen you're going to get you know less further down the road but ideally what I like to do I like to do like a 30 to 50 percent very keyword optimized GMBs and then another maybe 50 percent that are using just regular company names where I just know it's not going to get penalized you know so really play this how you feel I mean if you like taking more risks then it's not a problem and if not then you know you just play it safe and you do that so that's very important we have discussed that and then there is the last point that I want to talk about which doesn't necessarily have to do with Google suspensions but at the same time you also don't want to lose access to your account so make sure that you always sign in using the same device using the same IP and using the same browser um, because if you don't do that then it could happen that eventually you're gonna get locked off uh, your Gmail account and then you may not be able to access it anymore unless you have access to your phone number right so that's something to consider another thing that could be very helpful because let's say you are really building a GMB empire you want to have 50 100 maybe even 200 GMBs I'm um, targeting many categories and obviously you know that takes a lot of power but you really want to plan this out carefully because you don't want to get to a point where you know you spend all this money you spend all this time and then you're not going to be able to to monetize it you know so what you can do is um, to really play this safe is you're gonna put maybe three to five GMB listings on each Gmail account that you have right so you're not gonna place like 50 or 100 GMBs on one Gmail account that would be crazy I mean you could do that but so you really don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and that will be helpful if you do that because if one of your accounts should get hit it you know if anything should happen to it then well you are down one account but if you had all your GMB listings on the same account then boom you know you're gonna blow up you're gonna burn so don't do that this concludes the video on GMB suspensions uh, what to do what not to do and I hope this was helpful let me know your thoughts by posting in the comment section below I look forward to hearing from you and I see you in the next video have a great day bye bye subscribe to my channel now to be notified when I publish a new video on the latest cutting-edge internet marketing strategies Click on the link in the description to get a free copy of my latest ebook, Digital Lifestyle Blueprint.